Hey guys, it's Echo Samars with another tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you can sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR tips. That way you can stay current with all of the tutorials that we're putting out. So there's a quick demo of the sound we're making today inside of Massive. It is a gated lead sound. Massive isn't as straightforward as some other synths to make gated sounds, but it's, it's doable and it's actually pretty easy. So I have a new instance of massive pulled up and the thing i like about just as a quick side note gate gated sounds they can creep their way into a lot of different genres you can add them layer them over pad a lead uh you can actually gate plucks which is really cool with edm it works with edm pop hip-hop just tons of different genres so let's open up this new instance of massive here sounds like that i'm going to load up the virtual analog saw here the pulse width and I'm going to load up a square saw one. I'm going to activate oscillator, oscillator two and load up a square saw one. And in oscillator three, I'm going to have another instance of square saw one. Basically, all I'm doing is stacking a bunch of saw sounds for this. You can use any wave you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, the really thing, the thing we want to pay attention to is how to, we modulate the amp of our oscillators using one of the step sequencers. So other than that, you can customize this to your own liking. But to recreate the sound we heard in the demo, I'm going to down tune oscillator 1 to negative 3. And I'm going to keep the pulse width and pulse all position where they are. I do need to turn this amp down. And I'm going to do something similar with oscillator 2. I'm going to pitch this up to 0.8 so we have a detune sound. And again, I'm going to turn the amp down. So we're not going to have any sound for a big chunk of this tutorial. And that's OK, because that's how we're going to get the overall sound. So now boost. Oscillator 3 up to 12.11. So it would sound like this. All right, and we're not going to do anything with the modulation oscillator, the, the noise generator, or even the insert effects. Let's go to our filter now. And I'm just going to select a low pass 2 for this. And I'm going to turn the cutoff up about halfway. So if I turn up one of the oscillators, it should kind of have that sound. But turn your resonance down. We don't need any of that. And you can make sure that you keep this mix slider all the way up for this because we're only going to be using filter 1 and that low pass 2. Now let's go to our voicing section. And I'm going to up the voice amount here. So click on the voicing tab. I'm going to do 6. I'm now going to turn the sound down because that will make it louder. If I show you what it sounds like. And the reason why I can't show you what it sounds like with the amp is that's what we need to modulate with our step sequencer in a minute. So again, turn your pitch cutoff up a little and add some, some detune. So it should kind of sound like that. I'm going to turn on this pan position to make it wider. All right, that sounds like a pretty good stack of saw waves that are nice and thick. Now let's go to our amp envelope for... Uh, the, the envelope for number four here, which is tied to our amp mod by default. And I'm going to keep the attack where it is, keep the level where it is, keep the decay kind of where it is, but I'm going to turn I'm gonna turn this release up a good amount. So you're going to keep this uh, level, turn it down just a pinch. And then that will affect the sound like so. So you can kind of hear it almost, almost sounds like a reverb tail. When I let up, when I hit stop, that tails out. That's good for gated sounds, so they don't stop too abruptly. All right, now that we got that squared away, let's go to the meat of the sound, actually how to create that gate effect. So click on any LFO. You, I'm going to click on LFO 5, and then I'm going to go to here and select stepper. So now it'll change and say step. So what you're going to do is boost this up to uh, all the way to the top, and then you're going to keep it down for two, and you're going to follow that pattern. Every other one, you're going to boost up to the top and keep one down. So the the uh, odd numbers are going to be up at the top. Even numbers are going to be at the bottom. And then 16 will end at the bottom. I'm going to turn this glide mod up a little. And we're going to take the rate and sync it. And I'm going to select 1 over 32. I'm going to keep the amp where it is. So right now, this won't do anything to our sound yet. What we need to do is drag this in to all three of our amps for the oscillators. And then you're going to modulate up pretty much to the top for all three of them. All 
right? And now let's add some effects real quick just to round this out. I'm going to select the Coarse Ensemble for our first effect. Turn the dry wet down and the rate down so it's not too much of like a tremolo sound. The offset down just a pinch and then keep the depth where it is. So it's really making the sound a lot thicker. And now I'm going to add some reverb to this. If I was layering this in like a hip hop song or a pop song, I'd typically do that outside of Massive, but we'll just do it inside of Massive for this tutorial. I'm going to turn the dry wet down, turn the size up a little, turn the density down, and then turn the color up so it's a little bit of a brighter reverb. And then I'm going to boost a, boost a little bit of the lows and the low boost. Turn that frequency up just a little and turn the high shelf up. And there is how you can create gated sounds inside of Massive in this particular one with all the saw waves. This would be a good candidate for a lot of current genres that are popular right now. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.